I'm not gonna lie, some of this might be hard to hear. Hi guys, this video has been requested for so long and I've been so hesitant to make it because there's so much that I want to say and I want to say it in the right way. But last night I typed three pages, single spaced, um, everything like that I want to make sure I go over. So this is definitely going to be um, a long video. We're going to get a little inspirational. We're going to get a little deep and there's going to be a lot of tough love. But regardless of why you're watching this video, whether you have just been feeling down lately or if you have struggled with self-love your entire life, um, I have been in your position. It's something that I still struggle with. I think a lot of people struggle with it. I don't want you to watch this video and be like, oh, Hannah has it all figured out. Like, just because I know all of these things doesn't necessarily mean that I apply them in my daily life. Um, I try to apply them as much as possible, but no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. Basically, I'm just gonna talk about like how to be more confident and just general advice because it's something that I'm very passionate about and something that I have struggled with for a really long time. But let's just get into it. So I have three things that I want to mention before I start rambling. First, confidence, if we want to simplify it and put it in a nutshell, is basically just trusting yourself and your abilities. It's not arrogance or thinking that you're better than everyone or thinking that you're always right. It's literally just about you and yourself and what you believe that you're capable of. Second, if you feel that you lack confidence, it's more than likely because you've been conditioned to feel that way, whether that be friends or family or social media. 90% of the time there is a source and that is not going to change overnight. So you can't just watch this video and apply all of this and like just wake up tomorrow a different person, but you can recognize that like there is a cause and a reason and you can start to try and reverse that way of thinking because confidence is a mindset it's not a, a physical tangible thing it's your brain and how you want to see yourself third there's no distinct line between the confident people and the inferior people like it's not like this barrier that you finally jump over and you're just confident and you have no insecurities for the rest of your life like it doesn't work like that. It's something that you have to constantly work to keep because it is a state of mind, but it can become easier to have over time. Hopefully that made sense, but I wanna start off by talking about something that I always talk about, which is you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's something that one of my cheer coaches a really long time told me in reference to cheerleading, but that mindset really does apply to so many areas of life. The more comfortable you are, the more you're holding yourself back from potential success because most likely if you're comfortable you're not putting yourself out there you're not trying new things obviously we want to stay in our comfort zone because we want to feel safe we don't want to feel threatened and this is something that i constantly am having to like remind myself to do try new things put myself out there put myself in uncomfortable situations that i wouldn't normally want to be in that might sound scary but like you can start with baby steps like you don't have to put fifty thousand dollars in fucking cryptocurrency let's say you're interested in cryptocurrency like maybe just start researching it the fear of the unknown is a big thing for a lot of people and not knowing what you're getting yourself into but sometimes you just have to throw yourself all in or let's say you want to be more confident around guys like you have to put yourself in a position to do that like putting yourself out there like you initiate the conversation even if you're not used to that like you take the conversation where you want to take it slide into the dms first you want to know how many guys almost every guy i've ever liked or talked to i have been the one to initiate the first conversation or slide in the dms and i am not ashamed anyways next um you cannot feel sorry for yourself and I know that sucks to hear, but no one else is gonna feel sorry for you because everyone else has their own problems. Yes, like obviously we have friends that are there for us, but like the longer that like you sit in a state of like, I suck, da 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 da, what good is that doing? What is that doing for you? It's doing nothing but like creating even more self doubt in your brain and like you're not gonna wanna like do that thing ever again. Like if shit hits the fan, okay. It, shit hits the fan for everyone every day like life is hard and it sucks unless you have a fucking time machine there's no sense in dwelling on the past you also have to know that inevitably shit is gonna hit the fan things are going to go wrong what is it murphy's law like uh, anything that can go wrong will go wrong i think i heard that in interstellar but it is so true you have to expect the best because you have to have a positive mindset 
but you also have to be like aware that things go wrong sometimes so i my what i go by is expect the best prepare for the worst and that doesn't mean that you have to live in fear of like the worst things happening let's say you're a comedian and you go on stage you tell a joke and it misses and fucking no one is laughing you have to be prepared to recover from that situation whether or not you expected the joke to hit or miss you have to be prepared for it to miss basically just expect things to work out but more importantly when they don't just move past it move on recover from it and move on and kind of going along with that i think you can really tell if someone is truly confident or not based on the way they react to being wrong or being embarrassed you have to be able to admit when you're wrong and to not shrivel up and cry whenever you're embarrassed for me especially in high school i think the biggest thing to get over was embarrassment of doing anything like i never wanted to feel embarrassed but in the long run it's your life like if you want to do something that you think is embarrassing I, do it and if you're wrong it is okay to change your mind about something or to realize that you know what you said might not be entirely true i cannot stand arguing with people that have like such a low self-esteem the only way for them to feel like they're winning is for the other person to lose like no matter what we're arguing about like they have to be right and even if they know they're wrong they won't admit it because they don't want to admit fault to you they don't want to say like oh you're better than me even though that's not what that means like you're allowed to be wrong some people view the world as a competition and it's not so i say if you're wrong or you're embarrassed or whatever own it like if you trip and fall on the stairs get back up laugh it off be like oh my god that was fucking embarrassing move on i can always tell whenever someone is really confident because they don't feel the need to convince you of anything or say you know you know you know oh my god that gets on my nerves so much and i say it a lot i say it like how i say like all the time like i'll just be like you know da -da -da -da. but some people will be like and i just think it's really mean how katie did that you know I say that wanting you to be like yeah to validate how they're feeling like you shouldn't need anyone else to validate how you feel like if you think katie was mean to you then okay but like i don't need to be like yes i agree okay enough of that i think a lot of people struggle with fear of judgment whenever it comes to confidence or wearing whatever you want to wear or speaking your mind on something they don't want to feel like what they like is wrong and that's totally normal especially with social media like we're always comparing ourselves to other people i completely understand it's very hard to see people who you think are so perfect online and i mean i can tell you a hundred times that like social media isn't real that doesn't matter like you're still seeing so many fabricated things on the internet that aren't real but it's very hard to look at stuff like that and also be thinking in the back of your mind this isn't their entire life like this is just a highlight reel like this is just 10 seconds of the past year you're not thinking that you're just thinking wow their life looks so much better than mine you know fuck i just said you know i would say one of the biggest things that you have to realize is if you want to build something that is worthwhile if you want to follow your dreams if you want to do anything get ready to be criticized there is nothing that you can do that is not going to entail criticism whether that be constructive criticism or someone telling you that you're fat and ugly it's all about the way that you handle that if you want to take that comment and let it ruin your day or your boss screaming at you or your last instagram post being sent in a group message talking about like her hair looks so bad like if you want to let that get to you you're holding yourself back you cannot give a fuck especially if you know that you're doing something that you love if if you like the way you look in a photo who gives a fuck who else likes it just post it because the hard truth is that not everyone is going to like you you cannot make everyone like you and if you are constantly seeking validation from other people you will never be good enough in your own head you are constantly going to feel like a failure you also don't need everyone to like you one of my favorite sayings is that if people aren't giving you hate if people aren't giving you shit then you're not doing it right like if you're appealing to everyone then like i don't know what the fuck you're doing but it, it's not i don't i don't know what you're doing i would say that i get a pretty low amount of hate 
I wouldn't consider like people commenting that my outfit sucks hate because that's not hating on like my character. Yes, it still sucks to see, but like at the same time, do you really want to like fit in with everyone else? Like you don't want to be different. You just want to do what everyone else is doing so that like people aren't mean to you. I mean, yes, you could just follow the pack for the rest of your life. You could do everything like everyone else does. You could wear what everyone else wears and you are probably not going to be satisfied with that. I love it whenever like 50% of my comments are like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And the other half is like, this makes me wanna gouge my eyes out. Because if it's making people mad, then you're doing something that's different and unique because people only hate on things that are not normal to them. They don't like seeing things that are like out of what they know because those people are living inside their comfort zones. Also, think about how many people you don't like for no reason and yes that like sucks to say but we can't like everyone like i could name so many people that i don't like and i don't have a specific reason and like it's not like hatred towards them it's just like i don't really like them i don't vibe with them i don't like their energy and like you don't have to apologize for that and yes letting everything blow past you and not even thinking about it is easier said than done personally i have very very thick skin it's really hard to like hit me where it hurts because i take everything as a joke. I have a really dark sense of humor and I love self-deprecating humor. I mean, if you can't laugh at yourself, then how are you gonna be okay with other people laughing at you, you know? Like, and people are gonna laugh at you, it's inevitable. I know I'm making it seem like it's just like this easy thing, like it's not easy. Like it's going to take work and effort. And I have been through too much shit to realize that it is not that serious. There's actually nothing that's that serious, like nothing should like ruin your entire day if it has already happened if it's like an active issue in your life sure like <laughs> go ahead have a bad day and this is something that i really struggle with like if i wake up and there's no water in my cup on the side of my bed oh i i fucking rage i get fucking mad it pisses me off and then for the rest of the morning like i find myself just like fuming and like everything pisses me off everything after that is just goes downhill and so multiple times a day i have to be like hannah calm down it like it is not that serious continuing on the topic of hate for the love of god do not entertain it there is absolutely no reason for you to entertain it at all and i'm oh this pisses me off i just don't understand how people don't realize at this point that like the more defensive you are, the more the other person is gonna be satisfied. No matter what you say, they're not gonna change their opinion. They don't want to change their opinion. They don't want you to change their mind. Like you are giving them exactly what they wanted, a reaction. They want a rise out of you. They want the satisfaction of knowing that their words got to you, made you think. There's no reason to call someone out for being a pathetic loser sitting behind a computer screen, projecting their insecurities onto other people that they're jealous of because they already know that. They know that they hate their life. But at the end of the day, jealousy is a very, very strong emotion that makes people see red. It makes people do insane things that might even be out of character for them. Whether you achieved a goal that they've been wanting to hit for a really long time or you're successful in life and they haven't found their dream career yet, they don't hate you because you're successful. They hate that they're not and they're threatened that you are. They're threatened by other people's success. <gasps> oh my God, I literally feel like I'm giving like an English presentation right now. Like, I feel like I've just been talking, I mean, I've been talking for like an hour straight. Another thing that I think about is confidence is silent and insecurities are loud. So someone that is insecure of this, that, and the other is going to rag a lot more. They are going to lie a lot more. They're going to constantly try and one-up you. And once you can like, recognize that and like pick that out it, it becomes a lot easier to not buy into it it's kind of like let your success speak for itself like don't go around like telling everyone your goals and your ideas and like what you're gonna be doing in a year from now like just fucking do it like don't like fuck because one the more like people that you tell you convince yourself that like it's already in motion telling someone is enough satisfaction for you to be like Okay, like at least they think that like I'm doing something important. It's so much more rewarding to just do it and then be like, hey, yo, look what the fuck I did. And you had no idea. You had no idea that I was doing this. Oh, something that I used to do all the time 
uh, especially in high school is I would always ask my friends what they were wearing before we went anywhere because like I didn't want to look too different and I wanted to wear the right thing. Wear whatever the fuck you want to wear. Unless you're going to like a wedding or something where there's a dress code. Like if you're just going to a party, like chances are anything you wear is going to be fine. Like obviously if it's a house party, like maybe don't show up in a cocktail dress. But if you want to wear a green vest and purple striped pants, like fucking do it. Who cares? Yes, people are going to judge you. People are going to give you weird looks. That means you're doing something right. It means that you are one, being yourself, and two, showing other people that you're not afraid to be different. And people hate that. People are gonna judge you. What they really hate is that you're not afraid of their judgment. They want their judgment to be like this thing that everyone is afraid of, whatever. People want their judgment to be heard and recognized. So just don't fucking give into it. Also, always enter a room with a smile and facing forward. People like happy people. Like people don't want to approach someone who looks miserable. People gravitate towards one, things they want, and two, things that they are alike with. Like if, like happy people gravitate, gravitate towards happy people and people that are working to be happy or want to be happy, like they wanna be around you. They want your energy. Like they want like positive energy in their life. And that is a major struggle that I have because I have a terrible, terrible resting bitch face. Almost like everyone that I've ever met has eventually said like, I was terrified of you the first time I met you. I'm not saying that as like a flex. I'm saying that as think about how many other people were too afraid to come up to talk to me. And like, that sucks. I mean, the fact that I'm not approachable is kind of like, like I wanna be approachable, especially now that I have a platform. Like I want people to feel comfortable and like safe coming up to talk to me. But yeah, I mean, if you want people to want to talk to you like you have to at least look like someone that they want to talk to <laughs> um look good feel good do good if you feel shitty about yourself you're not gonna be able to like truly focus on anything else this is like majorly majorly true for me whenever i put on a cute outfit do my hair do my makeup whatever or at least just like put on a matching workout set or something like i just feel better and like i want to be doing something. I want to be productive or I want to be social or whatever it might be. Like, I just feel better about myself. And whenever you feel good about yourself, like, you do good work, you know? Fucking hell, I said you know again. The next thing is super cliche, but fake it till you make it. But I think a better way of phrasing it would be fake it when you need to. Because there isn't really, like, a making it. Like, you can't just like one day be confident and like never feel bad about yourself ever again. Yes, you can get to a point where you are confident like 90% of the time, but like there's going to be times when like you're low. I do feel like the best strategy to get out of that is by telling yourself what you wanna hear, even if you don't believe it. Like it's all about your mindset. If you wanna post a photo or you go to a party or you have a job interview and you're thinking this is gonna be so awkward like are people gonna like this what are people gonna say am i gonna say the right thing am i gonna say the wrong thing you have already fucked yourself because now you have all of this like doubt in your mind and it like naturally that is going to become your reality for example i went to new york fashion week and i was nervous as fuck like i don't know if you could tell but like i was like literally felt like i was backstage at nca and personally i don't struggle being around other people. I'm blessed to not have social anxiety or anything like that, but I just didn't, I didn't know what to expect. And so I was in my Uber on my way. I hadn't been to any kind of influencer event ever in my life. I remember I had to tell myself, I was like, Hannah, if you walk in there thinking what you're thinking right now, you are going to stand in a corner by yourself the entire night completely alone because I know myself and once I get in my head like that I'm just like oh my god like I don't I don't even I don't I don't know what to do so I'm just gonna like not do anything so as I'm walking in I'm like you're gonna walk up there with a smile on your face and you're gonna introduce yourself and say hi to every single person that you meet you're gonna initiate conversations like this is what we're doing 
tonight. And that's exactly what I did. And this is another example of putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. I had never been to a fashion week. I'd never been to anything like this. And the amount of people that I met, friends that I made, connections that I made while I was trying something new is insane. It always pays off just to believe in yourself. Like you have to believe in yourself more than anyone else does. No one else can convince you that like you can do something. It doesn't matter how many people are in your ears telling you like, you're so talented, you have so much potential, da 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 da. None of that means anything if you don't believe it because you're just gonna hear them and start making excuses for yourself, blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm getting kind of repetitive, but like I really wanna get the point across that like, it's all in your brain. Let's say you're at a party or you're giving a speech in class and you're thinking like, this is so embarrassing. Like all these people are like looking at me and judging me, da 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 da. You know what? Maybe they are judging you. Who gives a fuck? Second of all, do you know how many other people are thinking that same thing? Everyone else is so worried about themselves. People are not paying attention to you as much as you might think they are. It doesn't matter who you are. People are thinking about themselves. Like if you trip and fall at a grocery store or you wanna take your tripod out in the middle of the street and take your own Instagram photos, people are gonna look at you and they might be like, what the fuck? But it, it, what it, they're gonna go home and go about their day. Regardless, it, it doesn't, it shouldn't mean anything to you. If you're sitting alone at a party, no one at the party is looking around thinking like, oh, that person is sitting by themselves. They look like a shy, awkward loser. And if you are thinking that, then you have some way deeper issues. And this kind of goes along with fake it till you make it, but confidence will open up so many doors. It, it It's insane. Even if it's fake confidence, like, if you just pretend like you know what you're doing, people are going to believe you. Like they don't care enough to be like, does she really know what she's doing? Like this is a bad example, but let's say you're trying to use a fake ID to get into a club and you hand it to the bouncer and you're shaking and not looking him in the eye. You're looking at the floor, worried, nervous, like your voice is shaky. They're gonna spend a little extra time looking at your ID and they're gonna be like, what the fuck is your address? But if you march your ass up there, look them dead in the eyes, hand them your ID, they're gonna be like, okay, like, I don't actually care, like, here, go in. You can't give people a reason to second guess you. If you go up to your boss and you ask him for a raise and you're fidgeting and da da da, da he's gonna think like, why am I gonna give you a raise? Like, you can't even have like this conversation with me. But if you said, hey, can I have a raise? I deserve this shit. I work really fucking hard and I have all of these points and proof that I work hard give me a raise. He's gonna be more inclined to do so. Okay, another really big part of it is who you surround yourself with. And this is kind of hard to accept or to actually implement into your life. Like obviously it's like hard to cut people out of your life or you know, like distance yourself from someone. But if you are constantly around people that are complaining, blaming other people for their mistakes, the kind of people that like you listen to them rant and like you realize they're the problem. Maybe it's not hurting you, but it's not helping you. I mean, people that constantly play the victim are fucking exhausting. Constantly having to like listen to someone never admit fault. It really fucks with you. Or if you're around your friends and you feel the need to downplay your success or not even bring it up in the first place because you don't want to hurt their feelings or you don't want to sound like you're bragging um that's not a friendship my friend like you should be happy for your friend's successes 100 thousand billion percent of the time and if you can't then don't hang out with successful people don't hang out with people with goals i've had so many friends that only want to be my friend whenever i'm down and they're high they can't be happy for you because they feel like they're losing. They don't want you to get ahead. Even there, There's no such thing as getting ahead in life. Like it's not a thing. There's also no such thing as being too confident. Like, let me just say, if someone is criticizing you because of the way that you carry yourself, because you feel good about yourself, not a friend. They, they are not a friend that you want or need. Or the kind of friends that will be like, well, you're dressed up. What are you so dressed up for? Why are you wearing that? Like, shit like that, it's pure, jealousy, pure projection of their own insecurities. But here's kind of the hard part because obviously everyone has insecurities. So I'm not saying that like your friends that have insecurities like are shitty friends, but people with insecurities and low self-esteem that refuse to acknowledge it, 
and deal with it by trying to make themselves seem better than other people to compensate for the way that they feel about themselves those are the kind of people that you don't need in your life i would just say be very cautious of who you let into your inner circle i have personally cut a lot of people out of my life that have had one or all of those qualities and i know it's hard but at the end of the day you just have to do what's best for yourself okay this kind of goes back to the whole social media thing no one has their shit figured out as much as you might think that they do one instagram is a highlight reel we all know this and i'm sure people look at my instagram i'm sure people look at my tiktok and think like wow like this girl's got it all figured out this girl has no issues this girl is perfect i want to be this girl and i am very sorry if you were one of those people that thought that because that's not true like we all have issues and i'm not talking about just like surface level issues like yes i get a few hate comments here and there yes i struggle with adhd whatever but i i have like shit i have issues going on in my life or that have gone on in my life. Just because someone wakes up in the morning and posts a photo at 6 a.m. of their green juice and then them at Pilates and then them journaling whenever they get home doesn't mean that the rest of their day wasn't filled with chaos and stress and relationship problems and family problems. All you see is, you know, the 10 stories a day that they decide to post. For all you know, the green juice that they posted on their story was six months ago. You just never really know the truth. And so I, I would just say like, don't get too hung up on it because life is one, not a competition. And even if it was a competition, the people who you think are winning are just very good at not showing their losses. They are very good at hiding their downfall. Okay, I promise I'm almost done if you've even made it this far in the video. And if you have watched this far in the video, I love you. So whenever I was a freshman in high school, I was so obsessed with being popular and being liked by all of the popular kids and I just like typical high school bullshit. I got so obsessed with becoming prettier. Like I would wake up in the morning and think like, okay, like what should I wear and are these people going to like it? What are these gonna people think if I wear my hair like this? Like everything I did revolved around the validation of these fucking, other high school freshmen but there was this one girl that i was really good friends with and she was like the it girl like everyone everyone wanted to be friends with her and i remember my mom saying like why do you think she has so many friends like why do you think so many people like her it's not because she's the prettiest person at school it's not because she has the most money at school it's because she's confident and kind and humble and like i said before people are attracted to that like people can feel whenever you're radiating good energy but bottom line you 100 percent of the time are going to be criticized people are going to be mean they're going to refuse to hear your opinion or hear your side of the story people are going to judge you but you have to remember that there is not a single person on earth that is entitled to treat you like shit. So you should never think I deserve this or I should really dwell on this for the next 24 hours. Like you should just be like, I feel sorry for you. You have a weakness and move past it because they're already suffering enough, clearly. You really just have to change how you feel about how others perceive you. Like if you're wearing some outfit that like you were a little afraid to wear because you like live in a small town or something, you can't walk into Target and be like, oh my god, all these people are staring at me because I'm wearing like this crazy outfit. If it makes you happy, then that's all that matters. It really is. Like that is all the validation that you need. So moral of the story is confidence is the key to success and people suck. A lot of people suck in this world, but there's a lot of amazing people. There's a lot of great people. It might take some time to find, but you will eventually find your people or your person or whatever. And trying to please everyone um, it gets old and it gets really exhausting and you eventually start to hate yourself because it's physically impossible to make everyone like you. I know this probably wasn't like what you were expecting. You were probably expecting me to just like lift off bullet points of like how to be confident, like do some self care or some bullshit. I think a lot of people that talk about confidence on social media, it's very surface level and it goes a lot deeper than just like you know, giving yourself positive affirmations every day. Like, <laughs> And again, a lot of these things I'm still struggling with personally and I constantly work at improving all the time. I, I'm I always trying to do better. I'm always trying to better myself. Um, 
and I have come quite a long way and I'm very proud of myself and I love who I am and I love you guys. I promise you are worth everything in the whole world. You deserve everything and more. Chase your dreams because they do come true. I can fully verify that. I'm literally about to cry because <laughs> I I am not about to cry right now. I grew up I grew up with a certain way of thinking, a certain you know, idea of how life is supposed to work and I didn't f follow that at all. Like starting from my like sophomore year of high school, like my life went completely sideways and never in a million years did I think that I would ever be doing this. So I wanna do as much good with this as I possibly can because I feel so lucky and I'm telling you, you can do whatever you want to do if you fully trust your capability. If you fully trust yourself and you just throw yourself head first into whatever you wanna do, it's going to work out. There's never gonna be a perfect moment. There's never gonna be a perfect day. You just have to shut out the noise whether that be from your family or your friends or strangers or people online, you can't let it affect you. <sighs> wow, that was a lot. But I love you guys so much, seriously, 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 I love y'all. And I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.